All right, guns. Guns are a touchy subject in general, unlike my um, opponent had brought up. In 1989, when that shooting happened in California, that's when they decided to bring to legislation the assault weapons ban. However, the term assault weapon, being syntactically similar to assault rifle, is often confused for one. And therefore, I will do what my opponent failed to do and properly define what makes an assault weapon an assault weapon. Um, so in 1999, after that shooting, they had come up with a legislative definition for an assault weapon. And that was any weapon that shared two out of three characteristics with its military counterpart. Now, those would include one of these three, either a pistol grip, a retractable stock, or a flash hider, none of which make the gun any more deadly than its counterpart without those pieces. Um, that being said, it, well, the ban would have no effect on crimes committed by, or if they banned assault weapons, they would just get guns that don't have those characteristics and commit just as many crimes. Um, furthermore, um, also it needs to be mentioned, uh, they did bring up the AR-15 rifle. Now, as you can notice, it looks cosmetically identical to the M16A4 rifle. And these two guns, although physically the same, the same are functionally very different. The M16 rifle can fire anywhere from 950 to 1200 rounds per minute, making it incredibly deadly. Fortunately, those are only licensed to either military or someone with a very, very high license. The AR-15, however, shoots with the most skilled shooter anywhere from 45 to 60 rounds per second. And again, that's just, it's no more deadly than another rifle that's also semi-automatic. With the AR-15 being semi-auto, so one pull trigger, one pew pew. With the M16, you pull the trigger once and you get multiple pew pews. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they had brought up the issue of many recent mass shootings, however, with um, mass shootings including Columbine, Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook, and the Charleston shooting at the theater, each of those um, all had guns that were compliant with the ban, especially the um, Sandy Hook one, which happened in the middle of the ban, where the perpetrator brought in a high point 995 which was a 9 millimeter carbine with 10 round magazines now the magazine limit being 10 is ineffective mostly because similar to if you want to send several people on a bus and they ban buses you just bring more cars that's what the shooter at the Virginia Tech shooting had done where he had just brought 17 10 round magazines <coughs> so although he was compliant he was still able to unfortunately kill several people um, again, my opponent had brought up that the increase in crime could be correlated with the bans being lifted. Um, conversely, a 12-year study from the FBI Uniform Crime Reporting from the year 2000 to 2012 showed that 60% of the time pistols were used instead of rifles. Um, Going deeper into that, in the 2014 FBI statistics, they showed that uh, rifles accounted for less than 2% of suicide, where total people, or not suicide, homicides, where total people killed during that year were 12,253. Only 285 of those were killed by rifles. Um, for comparison, that same year, 686 people were killed by either hands, fists, or feet, so getting beaten to death. Um, so in conclusion, Banning a gun for its physical characteristics, even though it's functionally the same as almost every other gun on the market, is ineffective and foolish. <coughs>